Alright guys, welcome back to Empower Ends. So in this video, we are going over the fourth and final question that we're going to do a video question and rationale for, and that is over diabetes mellitus. So make sure after this video that you look below in the description section because we do have a bunch more questions available for you. We just can't really do Q&A videos for all of them. We wish we, wish we could, but we really can't. Um, but anyways, this one is also over patient education and how to properly educate your patient with insulin. So let's get right into the question and let's dissect it. Question number four. A client newly diagnosed with diabetes type 2 asked the nurse the meaning of insulin's peak level. The nurse corrected explains that it is a the time the insulin will be working in your bloodstream b the time it takes for the insulin to reach the bloodstream c the time the insulin is working the hardest to lower your blood sugar or d none of the above I like this question a lot since there are so many different types of insulin it is difficult to keep track of them all it is always really important though to keep in mind which insulin you are giving to your patient and also when that medication is going to be working the hardest I've had several episodes working as a nurse especially on the night shift where my patient's blood sugar crashed in the middle of the night from Lantus or intermediate acting insulin. Although my patient had received these medications hours before, not even on my shift, the effects had not reached their peak. Mix this with not eating sufficient dinner and also missing their evening snack and your patient's blood sugar can go down to extremely dangerously low levels. If my patient has a lot of insulin that they take on a normal basis, however I notice they're not eating as much, I usually communicate with them. They know their bodies better than anybody else, especially if they've been diabetic for a while and taking insulin for a while. For example, I would say to them, Mr. Smith, your blood sugar, for example, is 126. We have an order to give you 10 units of Humalog with your meal. Is this how much you usually eat? And if you were at home, would you take this much insulin? Just a word from experience, a lot of times they will tell you that their endocrinologist suggests smaller dosages when they do not eat that much. So with this information, I will page the doctor and see what they would like me to do. Believe me, when it comes to insulin, you can never be too safe. And giving too much insulin can induce a hypoglycemic event or worse, even a coma, which can be extremely dangerous, even deadly. Now, you may call the endocrinologist and they may order for you to go ahead and give a reduced dose or they may even say just go ahead and give the whole dose because of the situation. Many times patients in the hospital are taking steroid medications like solumedrol, which is used to reduce inflammation. However, solumedrol suppresses the secretion of insulin, especially in diabetic patients who already have a problem with secretions of insulin. This can cause their blood sugar levels to get really high. Okay, back to the question. I know I got a little off track, but I feel like it's important information and this was my opportunity to mention it. In this question, your patient is actually asking something extremely simple, which is, what does peak mean? This is important information for your patient to know so that they can watch out for the signs and symptoms of low blood sugar during the time that the medication is supposed to peak. Peak hours of the insulin essentially means when the medication is working the hardest to lower the blood sugar levels. So let's go over these answer options. Option A, the time the insulin will be working in your bloodstream well, the insulin will always be working after administration, but it does work differently at different times. Honestly, this answer option though could work, but it's not very specific. So let's put that in our back pocket and see if there's a better option. Option B, the time it takes for the insulin to reach the bloodstream, this is not the correct answer because that doesn't mean it peaks as soon as it reaches the bloodstream. Option C, the time insulin is working the hardest to lower your blood sugar. This is actually a perfect description in layman's terms of peak. So this could definitely be the correct answer. Option D, none of the above, is most definitely not correct because C is correct and A is almost correct, making the best and final answer option C. All right, guys, we really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos like this where we dissect different questions, just post a comment, give the video a thumbs up and let us know. We love hearing from you guys and reading your comments and also seeing more thumbs up lets us know that this is something that's that you guys wanna see and that's needed. So anyways, we cannot wait to see you again next week with another topic and more questions. All right, we can't wait to see you until then. Love you, bye.